Okay, so in this test, we're just going to do a quick experiment to see what this particular configuration will do. We are set at a right angle to the airflow and the oil flow, the discharge that is. And this is just a standard nozzle, nothing fancy. From the little bit of experimentation I did off camera, what I observed shows this thing right here just may put off a mist just the way it is. If not, we're going to go ahead and hook this unit back up. We're going to do that anyway to check it out. And also, I went ahead and purchased this little setup here, which may end up being my new uh, spray nozzle. Now, anyone who watches these waste oil burner videos has probably seen a guy, I think his channel's name is Waste Oil Burner, <laughs> as a matter of fact. Now, he has a setup like this, but the way he explains it, I just never really caught on to what he was doing. I mean, he shows a working device, and it, it, I'm pretty sure this is the same principle. He is using pressurized air and pressurized oil. And the combination of the two, for whatever reason, makes an amazing atomizer. And I just never put uh, one and two together. Um, I just, he just didn't have a good enough description. I don't know what it was, but it was a great, you know, video of the concept and working practice so i was uh, very happy to see that i just uh, didn't catch on so after messing with this stuff now i see what he has done and i'm pretty sure there's a couple other guys who have the same setup there's a lot of russian videos who a uh, fellow youtuber has turned me on to which i'm now addicted to um man these russians got some crazy videos dude the stuff they're doing is just beyond a lot of us they are some hardcore experimenters at any rate there's a couple of russian experimenters who show the same thing they have air and oil combined and when you look at some of the nozzles online you see that same thing they have air uh, airline and um a median line whatever substance they're pumping you know so but i just never caught on to the interior topology i thought it was some kind of exotic you know unobtainium some super sophisticated shape that I just don't have the machinery to uh, build myself. But it turns out there's just nothing special in there at all, really. I think, at least from what these tests are showing. So this thing just may work just as is. It's just nothing beyond what you see here. I just have a T hooked up to an elbow. At any rate, if this setup doesn't work, I'm just going to take this nozzle here and attach it. This nozzle was working when I was shutting things down earlier today. So I'm hoping to see uh, this thing working again. We are going to um, start off with using a different air tank. I'm going to connect this up to another air compressor because I don't believe this thing has the potential provide the air flows needed to atomize it just might but for the sake of speed we're just going to do this test here first we're going to see if this thing will atomize oil and i think that it will okay so here we go this is test one I need to hook up my air tank dang i thought i was ready totally apologize i don't have time to edit some of this stuff so bear with me Okay, we have a charged air tank. The other compressor, this side here is going to be pressurized air, and this side here is going to be pressurized oil. The oil pressure is going to be higher than the air pressure. However, the air flow is going to be significantly larger than the volumetric flow of the oil. So that's going to be the trade off. Let's start off with a very low flow of oil, get you guys a view of it flowing here. Uh oh, it's gonna start spraying out on me. I don't know if you can see it drawn. There it goes. Okay, that's a pretty decent little dribble of oil. Let's get some air in that now. Dang it. It's too tight. Let's move the camera on you. Okay, that's kind of sputtering. That's quite a bit of oil. I'm going to turn the oil down a little bit. Not nowhere near enough air pressure. I just don't want to get the camera. 
Okay, I had to turn on a vent fan there. Man, I'm draining oil everywhere. So let's try that again. Some higher pressure air. Oh yeah. Look at the mist I'm getting. I don't think you can see that the way I can. Serious mist coming out of there. I'm like misting myself out. I'm gonna turn it up just a dab. Right now it's just at a slow drip. Let's try and light it. Where's my torch at? And I've got nowhere to set this. I almost reach it. Oh. Man, I'm making a mess. Okay, so you see that flow right there. I'm gonna back the camera off. We're like tunnel vision over here. See if we get a burn. Move my good. Okay, here goes. Not enough oil. Okay, so that thing by itself nearly capped off. It was that close to lighting. I'm inclined to believe it had a combustion chamber. It may have lit. That was a good enough oil mist that it nearly ignited. Man, it stinks in here. So basically there's nothing special inside of that thing. It's just a T with um, three barbs. And we were atomizing oil better than anything I've designed yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that other device together. It'd be a little easier to hold on to and we're gonna give it a shot and uh, see how this thing works out. I'm also thinking about setting this thing up where this compressor will run the air as well. Though I don't think it can keep up with it. We're gonna find out later. Let's see something here. The question begs. This could get a little hot. Some gloves would be well advised. Let me get my drip going first. Okay. It's a pretty good drip there. Hope you can see this. Shit, my nozzle's in the way. Right, burn my hose. saying that just witnessed an amazing thing let me move you over here <laughs> what in the hell are you doing in here jeez I don't know if I can dial that back in that good but uh, I'm gonna try This is probably not a wide enough frame to capture what I just witnessed there. This damn torch working. Okay, here we go. Death to us all. My drip going. This is going to be incredible.
Okay, so what we just observed there was the effect of this of this nozzle. However, at no point was that self-sustaining. The uh, Bernelius effect, or whatever his name is, Bernelius, or Berne Berniels, is uh, ejecting the flame. So it is atomizing very, very well. The fact that thing popped off that easy indicates to me this is a very suitable nozzle. However, I'm led to believe that a longer pin stock would uh, give a higher rate of atomization. At any rate, we're gonna stop the test on this particular simplified configuration and um, we're gonna look into this one again, I think. I think it's worth giving it a try. I haven't decided which one I wanna try next yet. This one or this one here. This one isn't put together yet, so that may uh, set the stakes on that. But this is just the same thing. However, the airstream is at a different angle this time. Now the oil is at 90 degrees. Oil is going to come through the bottom, and the airstream is going to come across the top. Hopefully, it'll rip it apart. If it doesn't work well that way, then we'll switch it back to where the air comes through this way and the oil this way. However, I'm still thinking that possibly putting a bigger cavity inside of here is going to benefit the atomization. I do have a couple of fittings, and we'll try that out maybe.